Good morning, brothers and sisters. Draw near to God, James 4, verse 8. The sincerely humble will want a closer relationship with God. The expression, draw near, was originally associated with the priesthood in Israel. Under the regulations of the Old Covenant, the priests represented the people before God. Prior to coming near God's presence, the priest had to be washed physically and had to be ceremonially clean. That meant he had to bathe, wear the proper garments, and offer sacrifices that made his own heart right with God. Then he could draw near to God on the people's behalf. Eventually, the Hebrew word for drawing near meant anyone who approached the presence of God in worship and prayer. The term became synonymous, even of those whose hearts were far from God when they worshipped him. For example, Isaiah 29 verse 13 says, This people draws near with their words and honor me with their lip service, but they remove their hearts far from me, and their reverence for me consists of tradition learned by rote. But the sincere believer, one who has truly humbled himself before God, knows that God wants worshipers to draw near with true and pure hearts. Let us draw near with a sincere heart in full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled clean from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Hebrews 10, 22. This applies the language of the Old Testament ceremonial system to us and says that as the priests prepared themselves to be near God, we also should prepare ourselves spiritually to worship Him. We have seen that the humble person will come to God for salvation, submit to Him as Lord, and take a stand against the devil. But the truly humble person will see that his relationship to God is inherently more than those actions. If you claim to be one of the humble, one who has a saving relationship to the Father through the Son, be sure you can also agree with the psalmist Asaph, quote, But as for me, the nearness of God is my good. I have made the Lord God my refuge, that I might tell of all thy works. Psalm 73, verse 28. God bless.